It's important to note that I'm using this small arm of the Allen key to hold on to whenever I'm tightening these screws down. And that's just to make sure that I don't over torque and strip out these screws. If you were holding the Allen key by the long arm, tightening down the screws like that, it's much more likely to strip out either the head or the base of the screws. So we always want to hold the short arm of the Allen key and tighten the screws down like that so we don't over tighten and strip them out. Another thing you want to pay attention to is that the vision wires are on the right side of the QEV and that the extra length of wire in there is tucked behind that threaded hole that your frame screw goes into. You want to make sure that these wires are tucked safely behind that so that our front frame screw can easily insert into that hole. Okay. Now we're ready to reassemble the body assembly onto the trigger frame. Pass our 9 volt battery snap under the frame. Okay. Hold our body assembly until we get that front air fitting reattached. This is the tricky part, you have to hold your body assembly until you get that front air fitting screwed in. Okay, once you get that started, snug that down. Just like before with the other fittings, you want to use the short arm of the Allen key to hold on to so you don't over torque that fitting and break it. And very importantly, your power button, you want to make sure is sitting out or open. So lean your frame downwards like that. So that power button is sitting open to allow the on off button on the board to drop down into the trigger frame. Once you get the board and frame assembly back together like that, just press your power button and make sure that it's pressing the on off switch on the board and returning freely before you reinstall your frame screws. I'm going to reinstall the front frame screw first. It sits above your vertical adapter. This is the screw that really aligns your whole body assembly with the trigger frame. So snug that down. And then lastly, your two frame screws. Helpful if you have a ball end tip Allen key for reinstalling these screws, which I don't here, so it tends to slip off the head of the screw easier. And that's it. Next, we have to reset our dwell setting lower now that we have the QEV installed and get the benefits of the lower dwell setting, which will give us better performance at high rates of fire and better air efficiency. It's that simple.